Hey everyone, Dave here back in the garage, ready to pull some eBay orders back from vacation. It was a long one. It was an aggressively long vacation and it's good to be home. Uh, I think anytime you take a vacation that long, you get to the point where you're like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm ready to come home. And I will tell you a little bit about that, but we've also got orders to pull. What is this, like a walk that sold? Quite a few orders to pull. I have not pulled orders. I've not done anything. Um, not, not even not even recorded anything for like, gosh, what's it been three weeks almost? <laughs> it's been weird. It's been weird. Definitely the longest vacation I've taken, um, I don't know, maybe ever in my entire life. I, I don't know, I can't think of a longer one. Now where did I put all the pans, pots and pans? Now if all goes according to plan and I'm as efficient as I hope I am today, it's 7.30 in the morning, this video should go live today. It should go live today meaning that today is the day I'm back to work. I got home yesterday and it was a very long trip, like an aggressively long trip. I don't know why my brother needs to live so far away because we're at his house for a while. We did go to New York. We went to, we went camping up in upstate New York, which is like about as close to Canada as you can get before getting there. So obviously it was a big trip. Uh, but while I was gone, some stuff sold, not a ton. But certainly enough, ooh, gosh, ooh, precarious. Certainly enough to uh, to make a video. And the first item that sold, that's definitely the wrong lid. I'll try again on that. Is a, what is it, Calphalon? Is that how you say that, Calphalon pan? Is there a bigger lid? I will say that I feel just disgusting uh, as far as like physically vacationing for three weeks, being on the road, eating fast food. I just feel gross. I think after a vacation like that, you're like, oof, time to eat clean. Because <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I want to eat nice, healthy foods and not too much of it. No fast food. This is what's sold. Simply Calphalon pan. $27.99 plus shipping over on eBay. But yeah, I feel gross. So I, I will say this too. Now, you know, life is hard. Dieting is hard. Losing weight is hard. We all know this. We all struggle with this. This is something that everyone can relate to. I've had success and then unsuccess and so on and so forth. Like I tried fasting, but then I got all scared because all the news articles about having heart attacks. So I stopped fasting. I did calorie deficit like a year and a half ago, and that worked pretty well to lose weight, but it's really hard to stay in a calorie deficit forever. That's what I'm learning. And I don't really want to diet because I feel like every time I diet, the diet just like eventually dies. Eventually you go back to who you are and you eat what you normally eat. So I will say I'm thinking a lot about, why does my phone keep going off? I'm thinking a lot about this just because I feel crappy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel crappy from all the fast food and the garbage. Like we were at this campground and they had like a, a wreck. It was a mess hall. Where they serve you food. And you know, we had done the whole meal plan where three meals a day are served by them at this campground. And it is just like the worst kind of food. It's like Cisco's uh, F level food and you're eating it every day, all you can eat. And it's just, ugh. Anyways, long story short, I feel crappy physically. But we're gonna get back on track starting today. I sold this. This is a bunch of little, what are they even called? Fair Toys Dark Adventure Figures from Hong Kong. There's a little set I got uh, basically for nothing. You see those? Little aliens. I was, it was at the flea market. I was searching through bins. I was loading up my wagon. I bought a bunch. I think I spent like a hundred bucks on the whole wagon full. That was in there. I don't think it really added any cost to it, but that did sell that set for $29.99 plus shipping. But yeah, I feel very like bloated. All the fast food, salt, retaining water. I think in the next week, I'm gonna feel a lot better just by eating clean for, you know, a couple weeks. I will say this, man, that cup looks precarious. Let me show you this. I think this is gonna fall if I don't do something about it. See how it's like on the edge of its, it's kind of like tilted. That seems risky. It's not a great place to store cups. That might be a little better. I mean, I think the world is telling me that I should just do keto. And the reason I say that is for fun on my cooking channel, I made a few keto videos. And over the last like month and a half, these keto videos have been blowing up. And one of the big excuses I've always had for not doing like a very, you know, specific diet type was because, oh, my cooking channel, I want to be able to cook things that everyone will like. And, you know, I don't want to restrict myself to only cooking keto because my audience won't be as big. But it seems like when I do keto videos, I get way more views than anything else. So maybe it is time and the world is just telling me, Dave, you're going keto. That way, like all the recipes I make could be keto for my cooking channel. And I could potentially lose some weight in the process because I need to lose like another, I need to lose like 15, 20 pounds again. <laughs> I found it all. I lost it and then I found it all and I need to take it off again. 
So I sold this. This is a uh, little like door thing. You put it near your door and you hang your keys on it and stuff. We'll say this little wine bottle is kind of falling off it. I wonder if I could glue that back on. This little bottle. I wonder if it shows in the picture that it was a little bit askew. Sold that for $29.99 plus shipping over on eBay. And yeah, a lot of this stuff sold a while ago. And so I need to ship it all out today. We were supposed to be back yesterday or the day before, but we had a big storm, a big hurricane come through. Big-ish. Debbie, Hurricane Debbie. And now it's like a tropical storm Debbie. But it ended up being directly in our way when we were trying to get home. So we were supposed to leave, you know, after camping. After we went camping, the plan was to go to my brother's house, stay the night. The next day, do a train to New York City, which we did. We'll talk about that too. Do a train to New York City and then train back to his house, sleep at his house, and then drive home Monday morning with hopes of being home sometime Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon in that range. Because it's a far drive. It's like 24 hours or something like that. Or 21 hours. Now, so that was the plan. But because of Hurricane Debbie, we could not leave on Monday because Monday, like, we were getting all this rain and stuff and flooding in Florida, and we didn't want to go through that. And so we said, okay, we're going to leave Tuesday because the storm, I don't know if you've been watching, was like going out to the Atlantic and it's going to give like a little window of opportunity to get home. I sold this set of uh, Cornwell socket thingies. What are they called? They're called, yeah, just normal sockets, but they're not sockets. They're, you know, it's like little locking hex thingies. There's a whole bunch of them in here, but it was missing quite a few. It was 22 pieces that are included. So we'll ship that out, 22 pieces. I'll show you the picture. You can see it was missing some up there, some over here, and some here. I still sold it for, oh, did I really sell it for 50 bucks? Yeah, $50.99, even missing a bunch of pieces. So that's pretty cool. So we saw this window of opportunity on Tuesday, but here was the problem. And there was this window of opportunity. This storm was going to just sit outside um, South Carolina and Georgia, dumping rain, dumping rain, dumping rain. So we had to find a path that would take us kind of away from the shoreline and, you know, more inland. Now this obviously is going to add a bunch of time. <laughs> and so that is what happened. So Tuesday, instead of going like down towards Raleigh, which would have been on the way, we went to Charlotte, which is out of the way. It's by a couple hours. We stayed the night in Charlotte and that was all well and good, but it was like, we left at 4.30 AM because we wanted to miss the New York City traffic that you have to walk, drive through if you live in Connecticut or coming from Connecticut. Fantastic Four, Peril. I think this one that sold. Peril and Power. Uh, 12 cent comic sold for $30. $31.44 free shipping. But we didn't end up getting into Charlotte until like seven ish. So it was like 12, 13 hours of driving that day. And then of course it started raining once we got to Charlotte. We kind of timed it perfectly because it was right on the outer bands of the storm. And the next morning we wake up at six and we head down here. Now we couldn't just come down here. Again, same situation. Can't really just come down here because the storms are flooding Savannah and all these areas I'd normally drive through to get home. Even from Charlotte, I would generally drive through those areas to get home. Old Fantastic Four, number 57. Again, I actually sold this one before, but the person returned it. Uh, but it sold again for $300 uh, plus shipping. Now, when the last person bought it and returned it, I did not refund their shipping. So I guess I was only out the shipping back to me. Uh, hopefully this person doesn't return it. They did message me annoyed that I haven't shipped it yet. I got a lot of those messages. That's just part of eBay time away when you're gone. People may see the thing saying that it's not going to ship for a while, but they don't realize how long it is. And then, you know, eventually they start getting frustrated. And so that's what happened with several of my customers. And I wrote them back telling them, hey, I'm going to ship it as soon as I get home. But... Some of them aren't very happy, but yeah, $300 for that comic book plus shipping. So, like I said, yesterday, instead of coming straight home, we had to find a path through Atlanta to avoid the flooding, which is way out of the way. It's like three hours out of the way. Instead of a six and a half, seven hour drive, it was like an 11 hour drive uh, through Atlanta. So, not ideal, but better safe than sorry. And we did make it home. We got home at like 7.15, 7.30 last night, so, and we left at like 6, so it was, again, another long drive. We did stop. Our halfway point yesterday was Pearson Farms in Georgia, because Tina wanted to try their peaches, and so we did get her some peaches, so I guess it's not all bad. Sold this little canister tank reservoir for a Hyla vacuum. That's one of those, like, you know, it looks like a rainbow vacuum, but the brand is H-Y-L-A. Sold that for $39.99. My mom bought that. She used it for a little while, then it broke, like the main unit, so she gave me the rest of the pieces to sell as parts, and again... That one sold for 40 bucks. Oh, you know what I bet I got in the mail? Hold on. Okay, they did come. I'm gonna take a look at them because I have not seen them yet. I ordered stickers for my cooking. Look at that, cooking with Dave. Hold on, let's check them out. I gotta sell these. I think I'm gonna put them on Dibdit. That's probably what makes the most sense. Put them on Dibdit.com. I don't really use my big cartel store anymore, so Dibdit might be the easiest. Hey, they look pretty good. Yeah, 
cooking with Dave. <laughs> so be on the lookout for those. I, my ears are so messed up. I, I will, <laughs> I will say, it takes a toll driving up and down those mountains. Uh, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, there's all these mountains, up and down all these mountains. Hey, they sent me a uh, Tabasco sauce too. It takes a toll on a person. So what did I do? Okay, I wanna talk about the reselling aspect here. Because I had these high and lofty goals. One of my big plans was, hey, I'm gonna draft everything before I go and then I'm gonna list 10 a day, even while in vacation mode. But here's the problem. I did that for like four days. My sales were still in the in the tanks because I was in the, in the dirt and the, they were ta terrible. They were terrible because I was in vacation mode and I said it wasn't gonna ship till like mid-August. And so obviously, even if I'm listing more in eBay showing me to people, no one's really buying because of my crazy delay I had. These sold, Fire King is the brand. The two little uh, beehive handled soup chili bowls. Sold the set of two for 20 bucks plus shipping. Got them for, I think, $2 at a yard sale. So I just come to this conclusion like, okay, so I'm listing everything, but it's not selling. So do I really want to waste my drafts to keep my algorithm good when I'm not going to ship and my sales are still going to kind of die? And I kind of came to the conclusion three or four days in, maybe five days in, that I should stop drafting. I should stop listing. Because at this point, my store is kind of dead anyways. Might as well just not list, hold on to the stuff, and have a draft bank when I get home that I can start feeding to keep my store moving once I get home so I don't have that long lag time when I get home because I don't have a lot of inventory. Those are their own cups. I don't have a lot of inventory to just list, right? I've, you know, at the end of my little series of videos that you've watched recently, I did do a little sourcing right before I left. Uh, you know, some furniture, some MCM, stuff like that. If you watch my last video, you'll see that. That stuff I took photos of before I left and I listed all that while driving uh, as drafts. And so even with all that, I was like, well, I don't really have much to list once I get home. I think I'm just gonna hold on to the draft bank, which some of you suggested in the comments. So I think I ended up agreeing with you when all was said and done. I'm pulling out a bunch of McDonald's cups, like vintage McDonald's cups, and realizing that, you know, at the end of the day, might as well just not list and let my store die while I'm traveling and revive it when I get home. So it's a set of six vintage McDonald's cups, 1977. Sold them for $25.49 plus ship. Not not great, but not bad. I paid 50 cents a cup. So I paid one, two, three dollars for that and sold it for $25. So anyways, here I sit with 130 or so drafts still in my draft bank uh, after listing all that stuff I bought right before I left and stopping the, you know, draft pushes. I think I left, when I left, I probably had closer to like 190 or something. So I definitely used some of it up, but I decided to hold on to the rest of them. And starting yesterday, I started trying to, actually two days ago, on my first day of the trip home, I did 10, I listed 10 drafts. And then on the second day, I listed 15. So I've done 25 listings in the last two days. Today, I'm gonna list another 10. And hopefully, you know, my store is now off vacation mode. Hopefully we see start seeing some real traction. So I sold this Polar Express train set. You know, it's complete. It's been, it's like open box, I think is how I sold it. $33.99 plus shipping. Got that at the flea market and I believe I paid $10, but I might have paid 15. So I doubled my money, but nothing crazy on that one. See, I think it's good that I've got a bunch of drafts. Oh no, I have to pull a sword down. Ugh. I'm always scared to pull swords down because I don't have a good ladder in here. And, uh, you know, swords, bad ladder, seems like a bad combination. <sighs> Maybe I should put the camera down at least. I think I'll do that. I'll put the camera down at least so I don't combine one-handed bad ladder and sword that's super sharp all together. I'll be right back. Or will I? <laughs> <sighs> I did it, guys. I think this is it. Kit Ray is a sword. See it? It's like this huge sword, and it is sharp. And so these are always fun to ship. That is heavy sarcasm. <laughs> They're not fun to ship, but I couldn't turn down the deal. I think I paid 100 for all my swords, and I'm already weighing the profit on them. Sold that one for $152.99 over on eBay. So, you know, I can't complain. Oh, you know, it's funny. I sold this, uh, what is it, Monster High Rainbow High doll. When I first got these, I was still kind of listing with free shipping. And I had listed these, I believe, unless I'm misremembering this whole story, which is possible. I've done that before. I could have sworn I shipped them 19 or listed them 19.99 free shipping. Um, but then I sold like one or two and didn't like the ending profit. And so I decided to up the price to just 19.99 plus shipping, hoping eventually the other competition would sell out. And I think that happened because I finally started selling these for the price plus shipping, which is a lot more comfortable. Where I was at before, 18.69 plus shipping. I think 
I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> if you've watched my videos, maybe I always had them plus shipping, but I could have sworn I wasn't happy. Maybe I just wasn't happy with the fact that I wasn't making a ton because I think I paid 10 a piece for them. So even $18.69 plus shipping is not a great profit. Maybe that's what I was... But yeah, just a lot of ear popping on those uh, crazy up and down highways through West Virginia. If any of you live out in West Virginia, I got to experience all that. And my ears are still recovering at this point. All right, so I sold these two sets of rigid pipe cutters. I've used these. I was a pipe fitter for a few days. I did not like it. I quit very quickly. <laughs> my brother still does it, though. My brother still does it to this day. So I sold that set for $15 plus shipping over on eBay. Hey, remember that whole golf club story where I sent the golf club and the guy said he got a weird grabby thing? Well, he sent me the grabby thing. Here it is. I guess I can now grab stuff. I should list this on eBay, but I feel like shipping is going to be a pain. And, you know, it's nice to be able to just grab stuff. You can't see it, but I'm grabbing stuff. Ugh. Kevin said there's a dib dit auction tomorrow night for action figures. I should probably do it. Get back in the in the auction mindset. I think I do have a tote full of stuff I could put over there. Maybe I'll do it. I'll look at the schedule. So I might be on dib dit tomorrow night, guys. Maybe. I had the AC kind of turned off the whole time I was gone. Not off, because I didn't want my uh, inventory to get damaged. But I turned it to, like... 86 and so I turned it back on this morning when I came out here, but it is not It's not cooled down yet. It's still pretty warm Okay, so where did I put this blow mold? Maybe right over here. I did sell a blow mold now I will say this the thing I'm most probably most excited about for being home You gotta love past Dave's storage methods. So I sold a blow mold that's in here somewhere with all my other blow molds Somewhere back there is a blow mold that I sold I don't want to pull it out right now, so I'll pull it out in a little bit, but let me show you a picture of it. I do want to ship this all today, so I'm going to have to get it, but let me show it to you. It's this right here. Unless it's really big, then I might have left it at my container. It looks small enough that I would have brought it home, though, so it's probably here. $37.99 plus shipping. But yeah, the thing that I would say I miss the most while traveling was a bathroom that was close in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know. Like... Everywhere I went, the bathroom was far away, which is kind of inconvenient. Where did I put this? I just listed this the other day. I don't remember where I put it, though. I might have put it with my glass. It was obviously the worst camping because camping, we don't, like, we have a little toilet in our pop-up, but we don't use it because it's, like, out in the middle of the open and our whole family's in there. So, obviously, we're not going to use that little bathroom. Uh, so, and, uh, we end up having to walk at the campground, like, 300, like a football, football field away just to go to the bathroom. And when that happens at 2 a.m., it's really hard to fall back asleep. So I feel like I have not had a good night's sleep in weeks. In my brother's house, it's like, you know, he's nice. He he let us stay with him, but we sleep in the downstairs and the bathroom's all the way upstairs. And my, my friend's house, the same way. We sleep in the downstairs, bathroom's upstairs. So I feel like I haven't had a super restful night of sleep. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> get home last night and I slept terrible, too. Um, but that was because of a thunderstorm. I forgot the old Florida thunderstorms. They were here waiting for me. Whole time I was gone, they were waiting for me. And uh, the thing about thunderstorms, it wouldn't be that bad, but my dog, Molly, is super terrified of them. So she'll come next to me and like just wake me up and go, because <laughs> she's like freaking out and having a panic attack. And so that, you know, obviously keeps me up. And she did that about every hour last night. Uh, I'm gonna put my camera down and see if I can find this next item. So I listed this right before I left. I'm not having any luck finding it. I do know it's here because I just listed this a few days before leaving. Uh, it is a red clay Chinese teapot with four teacups. It's pretty small. It's got to be over with my glass. I don't want to move a bunch of it right now. I'll move it in a little bit, but sold it for 20 bucks plus shipping. I bought that on a work trip to Beijing where I kind of got tricked into uh, one of those tea houses. But I never felt like it was a trick. I felt like it was fun. Like I went to some person's house and they, you know, cook tea for you or make tea for you. And apparently it's a scam, but uh, it's only a scam if you don't buy something. And I had just bought something because I had a lovely time. And so <laughs> I think I've told that story before, either on here or on the podcast. But, you know, I had a lovely time, so I bought stuff. And then I found out later that it's a scam and that if you don't buy stuff, they're like really aggressive. So... I didn't have to deal with that because I had already bought something that teapot included and like I said sold it for 20 bucks So I'm pretty sure I lost money on it. This sold as well. It's a 1990s funny toy corp vampire uh, In a coffin Halloween prop works great and it does work great I tested it out sold that for $20 plus shipping over on eBay actually Why does it say free shipping? Well, that's a little disappointing. I do not 
This might be part of the issue of drafting. I did not intend for that to be free shipping at all. That was a mistake. Uh, no wonder it sold so fast. That should have been listed for 20 plus shipping. It was listed for 20 free shipping. It's gonna cost me, where's it going? North Carolina, eight bucks to ship. I'll still make a profit because I, I think I paid a dollar for it, but that's disappointing because it was supposed to be 20 plus shipping. But sometimes with drafts, maybe it's because I work so fast, but every now and then with drafts, things go wrong. And I don't notice, like I'll accidentally have no price there, even though I remember typing in a price, like some sort of glitch or something in the matrix where the price gets deleted, the shipping gets deleted, so on and so forth. And then things like this happen. So definitely a downfall of drafting or the way I've been drafting, because that's happened to me a few times where I'm just like, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, and it, it happens more so with drafting than when I didn't draft. So somehow it's related. All right, up next, I sold some more sailboat parts. This is officially profit time. We're officially full profit on the sailboat parts. That feels good. Ron Stan stand up spring sheet blocks. Two of them, set of two, sold for $63.74 plus shipping over on eBay. I wasn't sure I'd ever hit the profit on those, but I did. So that's pretty cool. I have a whole box here with like knives in it, and I sold one of them. And hopefully, I can find it pretty easily. I'm, I'm only. What haven't I found? I haven't found two things so far. That's not terrible. <laughs> I thought it'd be more. Uh, I think this is the one that sold. Bosca, B-O-S-K-A. Brought this, bought this, bought this a year and a half ago. Listed it, and then during the whole store takedown scenario, it never got relisted. I remembered it being decent. Sold it for 25 bucks, I believe. 20, 35 bucks. Plus shipping for this little Bosca uh, stainless steel scoring knife. I have... <sighs> I have to say, I'm very grateful to past Dave for how much work I put in before vacation. Because even though I'm coming back from vacation, being gone for like three weeks, and just being exhausted, I'm not coming home to a scenario where like, oh crap, I need to do a million things. I'm actually coming back to a pretty good spot. Like I said, I have 130 drafts, so listing's not urgent. I still, because of my whole beach day thing, I was going to the beach every morning and editing, I still have enough uh, picker videos to take me into September, already done and edited. So I don't need a rush to do those videos. Um, cooking, I'm kind of in a rush for. So with the cooking uh, videos, I've got like three done, but two of them are not keto and the non-keto stuff just is not performing. So I'm gonna publish them uh, and they'll probably do poorly. But the goal would be to record some more keto stuff. And so I do want to get some cooking videos done, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but there's also the sourcing opportunity tomorrow. I sold this, uh, is this an ornament? Is that what this is? Danbury Mint, yeah, annual ornament for Ohio State Buckeyes, I think they're called. See, right there. Sold that for uh, $33.99, paid $2.00. I know it to be true because I just pulled the price tag off this little bin. $2 into $33.99. But yeah, I'm a little torn on whether or not, because I really am excited about sourcing again. So there's a part of me that just says, eh, I can just do cooking videos on Sun or Monday, something like that. And then I could just focus on yard sales Friday and Saturday. I probably could do that. I probably could do that because in reality, I have cooking videos ready to go for Sunday and Thursday. So as long as I record tomorrow or on Monday, I should be okay. I guess the question is, are there yard sales? So I sold this. I'm pretty sure this ended up being a bad buy. I think I paid, I think I paid 50 for the whole set of these Rockenbach things. They're untested. I don't even know how to test them. Got them at the flea market and sold them for 85. So I didn't lose money. I will make a profit, but I sat on them for quite a bit. And in the end, I would not rebuy those unless I knew for sure they worked. The original goal when I bought them was to sell them, you know, test them, make sure they work and sell them. Cause as like working things, they can sell for like 40 to 50 a piece, but untested made it so they weren't as valuable. If I had actually tested and they all worked and I figured out how to use them and I sold them for 40 a piece, it probably would have been a $200 from 50, but instead it's 85 from 50. So it's basically just recouping my money. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, okay. So I've got a lot spinning in my head. Uh, I would say the biggest thing I'm behind on is this right here eBay, pulling orders, shipping orders, uh, talking to you guys about what's sold. So that's kind of what I'm focused on today. My number one priority today is just to deal with all that and get that all figured out. So I'm going to stop this one here because I want to, I have a lot more sales and we'll talk about them in the next video, which hopefully will be out soon. I don't know, Sunday, Monday. Uh, it depends, you know, it depends on, on my speed. 
Tina's leaving. I hear her car. She must be going somewhere. Uh, it depends on how fast everything goes. I've got a lot more to tell you about the trip uh, as well, so you know, stay tuned for that in the next one. But what I want to do is I want to edit this one, get it ready, because you know I want it to go live in like two hours, and I want to. So I want to edit it, get it ready, and then I'm going to ship all this stuff, and then I'll start pulling my next batch of orders, which I'll also try to ship today and get out today. So I've got a, a big day of reselling today. All in all, uh, it was a great vacation. I enjoyed myself. I did not make hardly any money while I was traveling. <laughs> that is the problem of uh, you know working for yourself. You don't get paid time off. You just take time off, and you know sometimes your pay decreases when you do that. So that's something to think about if you're ever going to do this full time on your own. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.